Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Affordable Flyers, Zenith introduces Match Toll CH650 kit, Corsair reimagines piston aircraft engines, Alto NG upgraded again. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to Airborne Affordable Flyers, our programming designed to help you get and stay in aviation as affordably as possible. Overseen by the editorial staff of the award-winning Sportplane Resource Guide, we know all well the challenges faced by today's sport flyers, and we're here to help you enjoy flying to the utmost. Let's get into today's stories. Zenith introduces Match Toll CH650 kit. Zenith Aircraft recently introduced Match Toll parts for its CH650 kit. This streamlines the aircraft's assembly, making it a low-time project for both newbie and veteran builders. The CH650 kit is also celebrating its 40th anniversary this year. The low-wing two-seat sport plane was introduced by designer and engineer Chris Heinz in 1984. According to Zenith, the CH650 is, quote, known for its superior performance, versatility, and comfort, and is now even more builder-friendly, end quote. In traditional aircraft kit construction, builders have to manually drill, align, and deburr holes in metal parts. This is both time-consuming and meticulous work. Matched hole technology, however, pre-drills components at the factory to improve accuracy, efficiency, and accessibility. The final hole size match drill technology ensures that all parts align perfectly, reducing the need for measurements and adjustments. This advancement not only saves time, but also enhances the precision and quality of the final build." End quote. Builders can assemble parts without extensive measuring or alignment adjustments, diminishing the need for specialized tools or extensive technical skills. Kit manufacturers, including Vans and Zenith, have started to implement this design feature over the last several years with their popular models. After the break, Samson Sky reveals production design for Flying Car. For over 30 years, the massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, and even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Samson Sky reveals production designs for Flying Car. Almost a year after its first flight, Samson Sky's Flying Car is gearing up for production with a new and improved body design. The engineering team used information collected throughout flight testing to enhance performance and streamline construction of the kit. Though the latest model has several updates, it retains some original key features. The manufacturer's signature folding wings, which disappear into the vehicle when in drive mode, will still be used. The aircraft is intended to support two side-by-side -side occupants plus baggage and fly for up to 500 miles on one tank of autogas. Hartzell expands services and introduces Prop Exchange Program. Hartzell has made several new investments in its service offerings that aim to improve and simplify customer experience. These include a new propeller exchange program, an expanded service facility network, and updates to its website. The Hartzell Propeller Exchange program allows customers to limit downtime on their aircraft without breaking the bank. The manufacturer uses its inventory of new and overhauled parts to assemble a propeller and ship it directly to a customer. Then the client ships or gets their old prop picked up and taken back to Hartzell. New Lycoming AD to affect 16,000 customers. The FAA has issued a new AD affecting Lycoming engine models with specific connecting rod assemblies. This was prompted by a series of reports of conrod failures that caused uncontained engine breakdowns and in-flight shutdowns. The directive mandates routine oil inspections to identify bronze metal particles, a potential indicator of connecting rod degradation. If any particles are detected, mechanics must perform additional checks on connecting rod bushings for signs of damage, misfit, movement, or excessive wear. 
Replacing compromised bushings with approved parts is required to prevent flight risks. DJI upgrades its budget-friendly Neo Drone. DJI recently launched a new update to its $199 Neo Drone, addressing the two most common customer complaints. The lightweight device made its debut on September 5th. The DJI Neo is a compact UAS designed for personal photo and video applications. It weighs less than 5 ounces and can take off, quote, from the palm of the hand, end quote. It has a max flight time of 18 minutes and shoots 4K ultra-stabilized footage. The latest DJI Neo firmware updates allows vertical shooting and increases tracking speeds. That's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Corsair reimagines piston aircraft engines. Corsair Aircraft Engines in Colorado Springs wants to bring a replacement aircraft engine to market that may reduce cost, noise, and emissions. The engine has some interesting features, being a modified aluminum V8 engine block with significantly modified components. These include a redundant fuel injection system, essentially a FADEC, that monitors ambient temperatures and pressures to deliver optimum engine efficiency. A digital smart engine display replaces all analog gauges and displays fuel flow, fuel consumed, and fuel quantity along with alerts. A system-matched electronic prop gear drive matches prop speed with engine output to optimize performance, efficiency, and noise. The engine is certified for several fuels including MOGAS, minimum 85 octane with or without ethanol. The engine has been flight tested more than 400 hours in the C-172 with all fuel types and hundreds of induced failures. Corsair is seeking an FAA STC as a certified replacement on certified aircraft. Corsair's initial production engine, the Alpha-1, will be available as an experimental crate engine fully assembled as a bolt-on firewall forward conversion kit, initially for the Cessna 172. The Alpha-2 crate engine will be a completely system-matched power plant for experimental amateur and kit-built airframes. The company initially received plenty of help from the FAA, but after the engine started flying, the FAA disappeared. After these messages, Alto NG upgraded again. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Alto NG upgraded again. The ever-evolving Alto NG has evolved once again. The latest attributes include DirectFly's proprietary match hole technology important to those whose heavy use, such as flight schools, might need a little help with the occasional repair. MHT parts are manufactured with such precision that no fitment is required other than riveting and sealing for sheet metal parts. You just supply the factory with the aircraft serial number and a photo of the damaged area. They can paint match the replacement panels and prepare a decal package to make the aircraft look like it just rolled out of the showroom after repair. This is the website's description of the process. The all-new instrument panel accommodates dual Dynan HDX 1200 displays and a Garmin 175 GPS navigator with room to spare, or a dual 10-inch G3X display and center radio stack. A redesigned glare shield and instrument lighting makes night flying less of a pain. Quote, we now offer the much-requested fuel-injected Rotax 912IS as an engine option, giving us a bit more endurance over the carbureted 912 ULS. All new aircraft produced for the USA market are now equipped with Behringer brakes as standard, simplifying maintenance and availability of parts." End quote. And how does it fly? We have a full test schedule for the near future. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.